Well, welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show and today's video we're going to be checking out the Presto valve on the actual bicycle so to do this what you actually need and I woke up this morning and one of the tires was actually almost flat is that you would need to get a special pump for it so before you go ahead and just go and try to pump it with a regular pump, that's not gonna work. You have to have a special pump for this. Now, once you get the actual pump ready, there's a few things you have to do here for this to work. First thing you have to do is to open this up. Now, th this is the key here. This is the plastic valve. This is how it actually looks like over here. And the key to make this work is not to do any mistakes. It's really about that. So once you do this, you get your bicycle pump out from here. And the next thing you want to do is to unscrew this. You're actually going to unscrew the bottom part and move it up. I'm unscrewing this right now. Just like that and you're moving it up next thing you're going to be doing you're actually going to be moving this like that so it opens up shifting this see that was the wrong way you want to put this exactly right you can see this is the wrong way again and it's going to make noise if it is wrong you hear that, that that's not good so here is the plasto valve right here before we go and pump this up you have to do a few things to make this work correctly the first thing you want to do is to unscrew this just a little bit like that check the tire pressure and that's how you check it with your hand and really not supposed to be any giveaway right here and there is there was a lot of giveaway so that's not good next thing you're going to be doing is removing this piece but when you remove this this is a very important piece right here don't ever lose this because closing this uh, those things are expensive how to find those you have to order them online there's like five bucks for like a few of those so don't lose those Next thing I'm going to be doing is making sure you put this the correct way. So the incorrect way is to put this like that and to try to force this right in here. You should never try to force anything, but trying to force this on this, it's going to break this valve. And if it does break, this is an expensive thing to fix. You're talking about probably like 200 bucks in a mountain bike. Uh, it's very expensive because... It, you just have to bring it to the shop to get this thing all done or you can do this by yourself which is so much more cheaper but you don't want to break it whatever you do don't break it the plastic valves are very expensive because once you break this you have to replace kind of this whole thing mechanism so when you do this make sure that's how it is this is the correct way to do this and then we're going to be putting this right in slowly just has to go in put this in here and now it feels like it went in there's no sound of any air leaking and then what you have to do see if it leaks if you're putting it all away and it's leaking again then you move it up once you move it up we're going to be pumping this as we're going to be pumping this there's going to be a meter which is right here and we're going to be watching the middle as we're going to be doing this and also watching this as well so let's go ahead and do that let's set this up all right now we're pumping it feeling it too you want to make sure you feel this when you're pumping make sure you're not overdoing it 
because it's hard to see in the middle how much PSI you're pumping in here. If you get a good middle, you can see the PSI right on this. And keep on moving this up. And now it feels it's almost ready because I feel this is getting very tight when I'm doing this. So when you're done, move this down, get it out. After you get this out, now this is the most important part when you're done. And I did this mistake before. The mistake was I actually just put this on and then the whole tile was flat afterwards. So don't do this. Next thing you have to do is just to screw this back in. Kind of you're just screwing this right there until it closes shut. Don't force this, just screw this in. Then also make sure this thing is screwed in as well. What you're going to be doing is putting the top on this and screwing this right back in as well. And now we are done. It actually doesn't screw that good on it. Let me see, maybe somebody... Oh no. I think this one... Yep, it broke. I don't know what happened. This thing actually has a fracture right on this. Probably have to get new ones. So I put this in. It's all done. And now I'm just gonna enjoy riding the bike. One more tip. If you're gonna be buying a mountain bike, and the one I bought is the Taco 2, just make sure you're getting with the normal valves in them. So the first thing you want to do when you're buying a mountain bike is just to open this up. That's all you have to do. Open this up and take a look. If this is the plaster valve, I would not actually buy this if, if I could actually do this over because they're just so much more pain for you to work with versus the normal ones. So this is something I suggest for you to think this twice before you're buying one of the plaster valve. But if you do have one of the plaster valve, uh, small maintenance goes a long way, which actually means that you just wanna make always sure that everything is pumped all the way in. And you're gonna be doing the, the test right here. So once you pump this all up, when you're squeezing this, it shouldn't move just a lot. It should move just a little bit and that's it. So you shouldn't be able to squeeze this at all. And that means this is actually how much you're supposed to pump the air into it. And the last step of the plaster valve, you wanna invest in a very good bike pump which is one I have right here that I'm using. So this is the one I, I got. It's the Road Move 6 optimized for the road. It's very good because I can store this right on the bike itself. And I do suggest for you to actually have it on the bike. So if you do a lot of biking, you need your own air pump to be over here because there's gonna be so many times when the air is just gonna be let out or if you have a flat tire and this is definitely a lifesaver for sure.